Hi everyone. Today we have with us Krishna. Krishna, we want to talk about your interesting story from a chef to a banker. Because and that's I think the main advantage of MBA that they are uh, training you for everything. You can do anything in life, kind of thing. So uh, before we go into the details, I want to start with the background first. Where are you from? And uh, chef, we'll talk about afterward. I know you're very passionate to talk about that part, but we'll talk about that as we go along. So first thing first, where are you from? uh well uh, thank you for having me over here and uh, yes so i am from mumbai which is known as the financial capital of india so i guess it comes no surprise that you know no matter what passion you have in a way you are directly or indirectly kind of drawn towards finance or you know that industry correct, in a way correct 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 okay so uh, then you joined ibr <laughs> college so before join the isbr for your mba we want to talk about your story as a chef Commerce say chef, why? <laughs> how, how that transformation happened? Well, I always uh, wanted to pursue something that was more creative in nature and that was more aesthetic. And uh, I always, since I was a young child, I had a liking towards, you know, the hospitality industry and cooking in terms. And I used to love uh, baking. So that is what I was always drawn towards. And that is why I joined hospitality. And that is why I did my bachelor's in hospitality management. And where I, you know, had more inclination towards my hobbies as well. And that is something where I wanted to grow, which is why I uh, also got an opportunity to intern with uh, the Oberoi Cooper Patels. And after once I graduated, then, you know, I moved on to a restaurant. I moved on to, a, you know, a chain in Mumbai as well, which is one of one of the big chains known as Food Link Services. So... Yeah, so I guess um, it was more of like, you know, when you make your passion the kind of work that you want to get involved into, right. I guess you want to go forward with that. And it was giving me job satisfaction along with making money. So there was no, uh, you know, cons about it as of that point of time. But then why and how this MBA, uh, this thing bug bit you, when that happened? Well, um, it didn't happen you know, immediately, but yes, eventually, um, see, I always, even though I had a liking towards, you know, going to the creative part of, uh, what do you call it, the career making path, but, uh, you know, since I was in Mumbai and, uh, you know, my origins are also uh, from a Gujarati family as well. So, you know, that as you say that, you know, business always boils in your blood when you are right. from uh, such a family as well and you have that, you know, upbringing as well growing up. So what happened on the later on part, is that um, COVID happened, okay? And um, as you all know, as we are all aware of, that the one sector that took the major hit was the hospitality and the tourism sector. And that was not just in India, not just in Mumbai, it was all around the world, okay? So then I just wanted to think to myself that, you know, what else life could offer to me? And that's when I came across a couple of courses uh, from finance. And that's where I was like, you know, okay, why not just what I had started on from earlier before my bachelor's, why not just, uh, you know, give a try to it. I mean, I, you know, I gave my cat without uh, any kind of institution, any kind of coaching or something like that. I scored. Okay. I mean, if you consider 92, okay, then I scored. Okay. 90 is very good. Yes. 90 so is good. Yeah. All right. That happened. And mm. then ISVR happened to me and make no mistakes. Uh, while joining ISVR, I had, um, you know, no specialization as of that point of time in my mind that, you know, I'm going to be directed to the specialization only and only and only. I wasn't like, you know, like curbed, uh, you know, by the category or the spectrum of specializations. I just wanted to be open-minded right. about it. And I just wanted to go forward with it. And and, and I think that's one of the main advantage of Icebear as well. They have kind of a broken down the walls of a classroom. They look like your learning is not happening just in classroom. You learn from the environment as well. So there's a lot of industry exposure as well, so that you can you experience and then you know where you want to go. Absolutely, absolutely. I guess I would completely second that thought of yours, and I believe ISBR. See, initially, wherever you go, and um, you know, you'd have a certain kind of expectations from any college that you would like to have your postgraduate from. Okay, so even I had my expectations from ISBR in a certain kind of a way. But uh, then when ISBR started, so initially, they always offer a pre-master's program, which they make you aware of the kind of, you know, case studies that have, you know, that are uh, forming around the world, making businesses, making money, and, you know, building themselves. So first, you're aware of, you know, whatever, no matter where you come from, 
you're getting aware of the basic principles of you know making a business mm -hmm. and no matter what specialization you choose you are always you know inclined towards staying grounded towards you know the basic four things that you have uh, towards making a business building it and then growing from it so i guess that is what isbr initiated to offer and then once it started to offer it didn't have any full stops after that there were only commons correct 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 so when the uh, when, when you got placement in nz so it was like you might might feel like the cycle is completed now the complete mb cycle completed so one thing which i always felt that during the mba the things we are told things from the birds eye view helicopter view and we started working there the mismatch ki yaar hame to leadership role sikhaya gaya tha ye to yahan pe aake kaam bhi karna padega so mm -hmm. what kind of a, a shift you felt the difference between what we have been taught and how the experience when you joined anz all right so the major shift that i believe that everybody should have is that you know when uh, you enter into a post graduate program like an mba okay your basic skills are uh, supposed to be you know you know max you know like expanded into managerial skills and yes you are taught to be you know be one of the managers wherever you go but the most important life skill is what they teach you is to how to manage your world around you how to manage yourself first and then you know start with team building start with managing the people around you and i guess that's what i had in mind as well and when isbr happened and then placements at anz happened so i was like okay this is a very good thing that's happening and i'm making a huge turning point in my life from um, not knowing much about the banking industry or finance and then going in inclination or doing my liking towards it and then finally landing a job so it was like mind blowing at that, that point of time true, true. true and i think uh, creativity if you want to show you can show everywhere the banking sector also have lot of good opportunities where you can explore maybe not immediately but in the in the future next couple of years so because like a chef if you become a chef in a big hotel i i don't don't think you'll get that much opportunity to be creative do something new which you can do in a smaller place so same way i think in the banking sector as well maybe in couple of years so anything you would recommend that why uh, or how isbr change your career so any kind of a pointer a couple of pointer you can recommend to students that why you selected isbr basic pointers was that you know isbr um, had a number of programs and a number of ways to make you learn and don't don't not just make you learn even if you are unaware what you need to do okay Correct. this first year consists of all the kinds of um, you know all the kinds of uh, corporate lectures all the kinds of pre master pro i mean there was pre master program which had 10 sessions to it and then when you start you start with the basics of everything okay no matter what you start with excel you start with making a powerpoint that's just the basics of it and you grow towards like you know how the industry is operating okay what's happening today in the business world and you start with the general uh, management what you call doesn't matter if it's human resources if it's uh, finance if it's marketing if it's uh, what do you call it? if it's entrepreneurship they had everything to offer in the first year itself so that you know your mind gets expanded and even though you are dealt with a lot of work a lot of assignments a lot of case studies at that point of time but that helps you grow that helps helps you actually decide a pathway for yourself and i guess that was one of the key points why you know by giving you a lot of options it also makes you very clear and concise what exactly you want in life and how you want to go forward with it superb superb and all the best for you to krishna and this is i think the mba ka main advantage that you are from any background mba is always accommodating and the people who think that i can't survive mba this and that so my answer is very simple the moment you enter the gates of mba college all your past is le left outside so what do you what do you learn in the next two year is the main, main thing that is going to stay with you absolutely absolutely i mean in a way uh, yes i completely agree with that uh, i mean i i do believe that you know the past stays out of your way but uh, in a way what you have learned over the years and the kind of discipline that you inculcate in yourself correct and that and how you manage to you know make that discipline into a direction that will lead you to a forward uh, looking life that is something that you learn and even if you are indecisive even if you are not sure but when you are expanded with a lot of options with a lot of opportunities and then when you become clear that what you want in life and maybe then when you step forward when you like with when you start going forward with that and when you even if sometimes you do not 
know what to do but when you take that leap or when you take that jump you do you know and when you start doing things eventually with that discipline you keep making progress and that's what isb has to offer in the larger picture of life correct correct all the best sir all the best thank you very much thank you okay thank you so much ramni thank you for having me